Hey, what is going on guys? This is Ben here and today I'm bringing you episode 2 of my Boom Beach Let's Play on my second account here. So, I've kind of upgraded a few things. I got my other landing craft up to par. It's actually higher than all of my other landing crafts at the moment. So, in this video, I'm probably going to be looking to upgrade the landing craft and I get this question asked a lot. What should I be upgrading first? And just from my opinion, if you're an offensive player, upgrade your gunboat, landing crafts, sculptor, radar armory any of those buildings or even, and even your vault um those that's just my suggestion if you're a defensive player or not fully offensive you can upgrade whatever defensive building you want um if you have rocket launchers upgrade those boom cannons upgrade those and i am going to be making a boom beach tip video because i know a lot of new players have come to my channel and everything like that so i want to give you some oh look at the clouds there <laughs> Well, yeah, so I'm going to be making a tip video for Boom Beach, so look out for that, or be on the lookout for that. And really, and for this video, I just kind of kind of want to clear my map and get enough to upgrade another landing craft. Because I need, well, I don't really need too much, so I'm just going to be looking to upgrade to get some stone, I guess. Um, We could take a, we could try Dr. Terror, yeah, I'm going to do Dr. Terror as well. Hopefully we get past stage 2 this time. I mean, last time was pretty weak, I'm sorry. And I can show you some of my operations attacks as well. I really just want to get this count rolling and get a little bit higher so it's a little bit more enjoyable to watch. Um, here we go. Go over here. Take out some stuff. Got the level 1 snipper tower. Snipper tower going down. Oh, almost destroyed it. Not really. And... Should I flare? Yeah, flare, 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 flare. The lone heavy is getting drilled. And there we go, just flare over here. Don't die, please. Please don't die, we gotta save our diamonds up. And there we go, took out the level two sniper tower, I think, and this level one is going down. Boom. Now we gotta go for this HQ. Oh, this is probably gonna be a while because the Dr. Terror they are they they bases have so much health for low level players and I honestly did not realize that until I had my second account. Um, but I for I probably for my next video on my main channel or not my main channel my main account I'm gonna be using they're going against Doctor Terror and clearing my map. So we'll see how that goes. But we got a fragment, nice. Got a bunch of resources. You see that? You see that? I think you did. And if you're looking for a good base design for HQ6, honestly, I would definitely recommend. Whoops using my base um for low level i can actually give you base defense guides because i actually went on defense here and i'm not super high up in metals is there anything i can upgrade in the armory though no i can't can i even upgrade that no i can't so i'm probably gonna need to go to hq7 pretty soon here i might actually upgrade the hq7 or go into hq7 later on but we're gonna keep on rolling with dr terror for a little bit and I think we should be able to beat this one. I mean, we don't have shocks yet. That kind of sucks. If I can take out that flamethrower, yeah, there we go. Yeah, if I, once I get shocks, the attacks will be able to be a lot better. Or they should be. No promises, but I hope they'd be better. And no, 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 no. Go over here. So my Zookas are probably going to die out first. And I don't have a flare to, like, retrain. Okay, good. They're going to attack that power thing. Alright, awesome. I thought we were going to lose all my Zookas there, and if you remember last video, I had to wait like three minutes for my heavies to take down the HQ. And there we go, took out that. So we're, that, to that, that was actually no problem at all. I'm going to flare to this mortar. Hopefully the mortar doesn't hit my Zookas. Hopefully it just stays locked onto my heavies. There we go. Thank you. You can take out that all you want. You can take out that as well. Hey, it all helps. I'll even maybe take this out in one shot. Yeah, sweet. Working together. So, also, I want to know, um, for those of you watching this video, what is your level right now? So I really want to gauge what audience I'm playing for, or what, what, like, like, what videos or who's watching what videos and stuff, because I, I want to try and like split it up a little bit where I do this. I know I've talked about this many times. But if you haven't heard me say this, I want to split it up between this account and my main account just to like kind of get everyone's level range because my main account is level 
46, almost level 47, and I'm attacking some pretty high level bases, so I consider that a more high level gameplay. And then this one's kind of just beginners and kind of learning the ropes, or like not me learning the ropes, but I can uh, like teach people what to do and stuff. I mean, it's usually the stuff early on really is kind of self explanatory, but if you're a newer player, if you watch me, you could probably pick up a few things as well. And we currently already have enough to upgrade the HQ. I am definitely going to do that. Um, I'm not going to finish it. Actually, 108 diamonds. Uh, what? Do, I don't even check to see what we got. We'll finish that because now I can, Oh, now we can use the shock bombs. What did I just say? And we're almost getting the warriors. Not quite. And I can also upgrade the armory in a little bit. I'm going to try and get enough resources for that. These shock bombs are going to help us out though. You just watch. So we already did way better than our our last Dr. Terror run. Where we only got to stage we only beat stage one. We didn't even beat stage two last time. So I gotta use these shocks pretty wisely. I'll let them take out a few of my heavies. It's cause the cannon's gonna just kill them anyways. And then I'm gonna flare to that and then I'm gonna shock it. Cause I just really didn't want that cannon to kill my Zookas. That was the only thing I was worried about. And I'm gonna have to use multiple shocks to keep it from destroying everything. This thing is like a max level cannon and my troops are struggling right now. It kind of reminds me of my operation attacks. I'll get to those a little later on. Hopefully we take out this cannon before it takes out my Zookas. Come on, there we go. Oh, there we go. Called it a little early. And what else? I can get a double. No, I won't. I'll get a double hit here. Just to weaken the health a little bit. I didn't even get a double hit. I'm a noob. Um, just to weaken the health of the HQ so it goes down a little quicker. And let's go, Zookas. So I, we're definitely gonna be waiting. <laughs> definitely gonna be waiting a while here. So yeah, like I said though, let me know what your level is. Um, and I don't know, just maybe your victory points as well, or how your day is going. I don't know. <laughs> just trying to spark up a conversation in the comments. Keep, keep things interesting. I'm playing with my chapstick right now. This is a must with the weather that we've been having. Gotta keep these lips nice and uh. Nice and not chapped. So you just gotta apply it nice and glossy. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing right now. But alright, these Zookas are kind of taking down the HQ. Not really, it's really slow. Tear stage 3 though, hey, that's improvement from the first time. Got past stage 2. So, but it was the volcano base. Um, so I guess it's kind of harder, but eh, whatever. And let's go. Come on, Zookas. The Zookas are lining up the base. Slowly taking it down, hit by hit. It's turning. This base is turning. It's not even on fire yet. It's starting to smoke. <laughs> there we go. Now it's on fire. You know what would be cool, though? If, like, if you set the HQs on fire, if, like, it did, if it dealt a little bit more damage to itself because it, it was already burning, it should go down quicker. I don't know. But... What other things could we talk about while these Zookas slowly take down this base? Oh yeah, the Boom Beach update, um, it's been over a month now since the last one, so hopefully they're planning something big. I mean, with Clash it was usually updates like every month, and unless there was like a big update following, they would kind of skip a month. They, they really didn't skip that many months, but hopefully something big is another thing or another big thing is coming to Boom Beach. I know they added task forces not too long ago, which was huge for the game, but maybe they'll do something with balancing the offensive slash defensive. Okay, because I'm not I'm not gonna lie, offensive, the offense in this game is like pretty much broken, uh, unless you have a max level base and or you and or you're really low in medals on your account, you're really not gonna win on defense. Um, like if, if you watched. Any of my, you probably all know, I never went on defense on my level 47 account, or level 46, almost 47. And I'm only at like 600, and I was at 630 medals the last night or something. I took out some resource bases finally. Usually I don't do that. But yeah, it's just like, defense is irrelevant right now. It's all offensive right now. And maybe that'll change, and I'll have to change my videos from telling you guys to not go all offensive but never know we got that reign of terror reign of terror achievement we're on stage three though lost all six of our heavies but it was worth it and i'm just really looking to upgrade this armory because i have gold for days usually gonna reinforce here 
Get um, get that Reign of Terror achievement, sweet. Oh, that was 30 diamonds, nice. I can create something, what? I can create a, ooh, an idol. Hopefully I get like a gumboat uh, idol or something. Never know, luck of the draw. We'll check out stairs stage four here. Mm, the infamous shock launcher. How much health does this thing have? If I flare right next to it, I don't know if we're, I don't I honestly don't know if we're gonna be able to beat this. Maybe if I can take out this mortar and I did that wrong. I want to get these buildings, these free buildings over here, and then flare like right next to that shock launcher, so I can my troops can be with, like out of range of it. We'll we'll try. We'll see how this works. I'll redo it here. Boom, 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 and drop the troops and flare over here. So we'll see how this goes. We can beat Terror Stage Four. Looking pretty good. Pretty good. And take out that little cannon, or just the cans, I mean. Take out these things, whatever they are. Houses, maybe? Vaults? I don't know. Does anyone actually know what these are? I never actually clicked on them to see. Uh, and that shock launcher is in play. Please just hit the... Okay. That's not cool. If, keep, if my Zookas can stay alive... Oh no, okay, the shock is for real. I might be inside of its range. Okay, I just want to flare really close to it so like my troops huddle around it and can't be shocked. Oh no. So it kind of worked and not really. Because half of them aren't getting hit but the other half are. So, I'm going to say this is probably going to be a no-go because I lost my Zookas early on. And we after we take out this Shock Launcher, we still have to wait about the HQ. So, I'm probably just going to speed this video or this part of the video up. So, I'm just going to chill here, do my own thing. So I honestly thought we had a chance here to beat this base. Um, I think if I would have flared a little better with my Zookas like early on and maybe shocked it a little bit earlier and didn't lose two of my Zookas from that one shock, we might have been able to beat the HQ because we had a lot more damage going to it. Uh, I Even during the middle year, right when we started attacking it, I thought we were going to beat it, but no, not a chance. So three, the race to the mine, three. Two, one. Oh, they didn't get there. So we were unable to beat Terror Stage Four. I don't really want to try it again. I'll go for actually a real attack. Um, gonna reinforce though, and I still need a thousand three hundred in stone. Attack some players here. We'll check it out. He's got like two hundred something in stone. Um, uh, we might be able to beat his base. He does have the mines. So I'm going to drop my heavies first, just to take care of the mines so my Zookas don't get hit by them. And then I'll drop my Zookas later. And then I'm going to reflare just so they can group up again and kind of attack together. And can I get some doubles, some double hits there. Go over here, dudes, and then get a triple. Here we go. Flirt of that mortar, shock that mortar. These shocks are so OP for these bases, though. Well, I'm a level 16 attacking a level 12, so it is kind of unfair. But hey, that's just how Boom Beach goes, man. 
it's time to take my revenge on some bases. Like, I feel as though every time I get attacked, it's by someone a higher level than me on my main account. So it's time to take my revenge out on these bases without here in this low level. But alright, take out that cannon quick. I don't want to lose any troops here. Nice. Nice, take out that gold storage. Nice. Got that smart heavy taking out that ar armory right there. And this HQ should go down, and boom, there we go. Nick CDB. Got some intel from my task force as well. Got a lot of wood. Not too much stone. Uh, He doesn't have any stone here, so let's find a new opponent. Oh, a level 10, even better, I mean. Oh my goodness. Uh, this base isn't too hard. Uh, like I say in all my videos, don't do this with your mines. Uh, literally, one artillery shot can take it out. Oh, there we go. And I could have did it. Here, I'll show you the proper way how to do this. Just looking at it now, I kind of messed up. I know I'm wasting 700 gold, but I want to show you the proper way. So, you have the mines like this, and you can throw one artillery in the middle of it to take out the mines. But as you can see, they're like right on top of these buildings. So I can probably get splash damage to take out the mines and the like hurt that art, uh, hurt that machine gun. So we'll try it out. So there we go. Hurt the machine gun, take out the mines. That's the proper way to do that. I'll try it with the mortar as well. And there we go. So I know it's nothing big, but uh, later on it could help you out. You never know. Like it, if you the damage that you dealt to a base like that. Uh, Maybe it saves you some of your troops, which helps you on later in the raid. You never know. It could be middle school, but hey, it's the right way to do it. Just uh, just if you're new to the game. I know, I know a lot of you are probably like, who are like level 40s or like level 30s or even level 20s are like, then oh my god. You probably just like clicked off the video right now. But hey, gotta, gotta show the proper way to play the game. And uh, go over here, I'll heal you dudes up. Um, proper way to play my game in my butt, that mortar just took out my, all my Zookas. Uh, so I'm gonna shock this sniper tower, he's going a little too hard. So I got one Zooka with me, this, uh, this is gonna be rough. I do have a lot of, I do have a lot of gumball energy with me though, or left I should say. Now we go over here so I can throw down that shock. Even hit an artillery shot on it because he's almost taking on my heavies. But there we go. So now I'm going to flare over here because I think taking out the buildings early on destroys the HQ a lot faster. I don't know. I, I, I'm just assuming. It kind of does. Not really. I mean, I don't know if it mattered or not. But So we're taking down Adrian, level 10. It was a little harder than I thought, to be honest with you guys. Come on, heavy zookas, take it out, take it out, take it out. There we go. We got that fragment, nice. Got the two medals. Got the stacks on stacks on stacks for the resources. Only lost three zookas for that. I I still need 1,000 stone. Hopefully this level 17 will have it for us. Please? Ooh, he's close. Now, I'm going to try something. I don't know. Actually, I don't think it'll work. I was going to say, we could try and go from the back of his base. Actually, maybe. This might be a next level play for you guys. So I'm going to get that quad hit here, so don't set up your base like this. Please. Please, just listen to me and you don't want to do that. Oh, actually, I don't even need to run around the side of his base anymore. I can just take out these sniper towers. Almost. Um, I did that wrong. What do I want to do? Too much thought going on. So get the quad hit here. And... Go back to the trees. For those of you that didn't know again, you can flare to the... <laughs> you can run your troops in between the trees. I assume a lot of people already know that. Nope, nope. I'm so used to my flares on my main account that they're so high level. Alright, so my plan though of attack, I really didn't tell you guys, is to go from behind his base, 
get all these free buildings that he has back here and then use my remaining artillery shots to take all those sniper towers because then I'll have a clear path at that HQ after those sniper towers are gone. And I should, I should get enough um, energy, gumball energy to take these out. I mean, I hope so. If I don't, I'll look kind of stupid, but you never know. I could also shock it if, if that's like the worst case scenario. scenario. Well, maybe one more hit. Oh man, those sniper towers are taking out my heavies, man. Uh-oh. Might as well just say... Okay, flare over here, everyone, and have my heavies take the damage. Because that HQ is actually going down pretty quickly. Because I got all my Zookas alive. So, we kind of flanked him, we kind of didn't. I best... I could have used my artillery shots to just take out the HQ or maybe even shock the sniper towers and to lose less troops. Well, I didn't even lose a troop. Well, actually, I lost a Zuka, but hey, whatever. Got the job done, and we almost have enough stone. Looks like how many? How much more do I need? 125. Oh, never knew 125 stone would be so painful. So we gotta scout it out. 110. 90 we need 125 45 we're getting worse stone 210 it's got a rocket launcher though hey this is going this is going for gold man take it out please ooh um I don't know if we're going to be able to beat this base, but we'll go for it. So I definitely want to drop my heavies first, because rocket launchers are going to be a pain in the butt. What I'm going to do is a shock, the flamethrower, and everything else. Go, 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 take these buildings up quick, 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 flare over here. Shock that rocket launcher. Drop down that med kit. Hopefully this rocket launcher doesn't hit my Zookas. Please, 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 please. Thank you. Flare to this. Take that out quick. And these buildings are out of range. So there we go. We actually took down a base. It's that chapstick. I keep hitting it over. But there we go, we actually beat a base with a rocket launcher. That's my first time on this account, so hey, we're making progress. And this is a pretty long video for my low level account. And we got the quarry base. There we go, that was a big play though. And I'm just gonna leave that base for how it is. Um, upgrade that. We're getting plays now. Making some progress. Getting some achievements, there we go. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I really didn't go over my operations, but just so you know, we're working up our ladder right now. Tank Tango, we beat pretty easily, and then we're moving up to upper lip right now, but we still have 22 attacks remaining to beat two bases. So I'm pretty confident we can do that. But yeah, so that's gonna wrap up for this video, guys. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe for more Boom Beach videos if you have not already, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and night. And I'll see you guys later.